Hey guys, I'm T and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I make trendy and fun crochet tutorials twice a week. And if you haven't already, smash that like button, drop a comment below, and subscribe to join in on the fun. This one's a modern classic. I kept the design clean, but made sure to throw in a few small details that I know you'll love. I certainly do. This one, like many of our other recent makes, is a fairly quick workup, so I can't wait to see your recreations. Speaking of, if you do, be sure to hit me up on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter, because I like seeing what you make. Something else I like is when you click like and subscribe. It really helps you grow out, so consider doing both. Now, time to get on with the show, so without further ado. For this project, any category 4 yarn will work, but I use a total of 170 grams of yarn. That's 250 yards if you're stateside. As for tools, a 5.5mm hook, scissors, stitch markers, and a tape measure. There is a written pattern down below. Use offer code TCDDIY for a discount off any $9.99 plus order. And enter this week's pattern giveaway by telling us your favorite seafood. For me, I'm always down for crab legs and clarified butter. Details for the giveaway down below. We're using four stitches for this project and they'll be as follows. Chain. Slip stitch. Single crochet. Half double crochet and double crochet. This tutorial is for size small, but you can adjust it for your size and we explain how to in the video. So let's get started. Getting this top started, we're first going to grab our category 4 yarn and make a slip knot. Next, we're going to grab our 5.5mm hook and we're all going to start by making our chain. That starts at mid girls, making our way all the way down to where we want the bottom of this top to be. So I'm going to start by making a chain of 45, and that's going to be 12 inches or 31 centimeters. Now that we have our chain, we're going to block off that last chain and do a chain of two. That chain two doesn't count as a stitch, that's our turning chain, and now we're going to yarn over, preparing for a half double crochet. And we're going to insert our hook into that chain that we blocked off, or the third chain from our hook with a half double. So insert your hook. Yarn over, pull through one, should be three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Let's do this again. Yarn over, into that next chain, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. Continue to put one half double crochet into every chain, leaving the last one so that we can increase together. All right, so now that we put one half double crochet into every stitch, into that last one, we're gonna do an increase of three half double crochets. So yarn over, insert into that last chain with our first half double crochet, into that same last chain with our second, and then into that same last chain with our third. And now that we have that, we're going to do a back loop slip stitch row, but we are going to need to increase into there as well. So do a chain two. That first chain is going to count as a stitch, and that second chain is going to count as our turning chain. Once we have those two, we're going to flip our work. We're going to start by skipping that first stitch that's nearest to our hook and then insert our hook into that next chain's back loop with a slip stitch. So insert, yarn over, and pull through everything. Let's do that again. Our next back loop slip stitch is inserting our hook into that next stitch's back loop. Yarn over, pull through everything, and then one more. Into that next stitch's back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue to put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and I'll meet you back at the end of this row. Now that we've made our way down to the bottom of our row number two, we're now going to switch back to doing our half double crochet row. But from here on out, they're all going to be within the back loops. So start our half double crochet row with a chain two and flip our work. Start with a yarn over, insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, pull through all three. Let's do this again. Yarn over, insert, pull through, pull through all three. Continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one. Now meet you guys back just so we can increase together one more time. All right, so I put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one, and now we're going to do an increase of three together. So yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop with one, with two, and with three back loop half double crochets. 
And now we're going to do our back loop slip stitch row again. So the same one that we just did, start with a chain two and flip our work. From here, we're gonna insert our hook into that second chain from our hook into that back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. And then from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. Then we're gonna keep repeating these two rows until this point that we have reaches the highest point that we want our cup to be, so where the strap will be. And then also making sure that we place this first row that we have about two inches away from mid chest. I'll meet you guys back along the bottom so that we can do the rest. All right, so I'm back with the first half of my cup. I have a total of eight rows, and this is just about two inches or five centimeters unstretched. And now we're gonna start working on our underarm portion. So since we all should have ended along the bottom right after slip stitch row, we're going to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three, because then we're going to do a decrease of three together. All right, so we just made our way all the way down with our back loop half double crochets, and we have left one, two, three stitches left, and now we're gonna do a decrease of three back loop half double crochets. Yarn over, insert into that third to last back loop, pull through, into that second to last back loop, pull through, and then also into that last back loop, pull through. Yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And that's how we do our decrease of three half double crochets. Now, right before we get started on our slip stitch row, we are gonna be inserting our stitch marker into this slip stitch row because this is the point of our cup. We just want this here so we have a visual of where it's at. And all I'm gonna do is start my next row, which is going to be a back loop slip stitch row, and we are gonna start with a decrease of two. So start with a chain one, flip our work, and then insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through into that next stitch's back loop. From here, we should have three loop center hooks, so yarn over, pull through all three of those loops, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of this row, do a chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three, so we can do a decrease together just one more time. All right, so we are back, and we have made our way all the way back up with our half double crochet row, and we've left one, two, three stitches again. So to do our decrease, we're gonna insert our hook into that third to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, and into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. We should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So yarn over and pull through all five. And now we're gonna do our slip stitch row, so chain one, flip our work, insert your hook into that first stitch's back loop, pull through, next stitch's back loop, and we're gonna yarn over and pull through everything on our hook. And from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're gonna continue on with these two rows until this portion and slope down to right underneath our arm so that we have the height of the back panel that we want. I'll meet you guys back right after a slip stitch row. I'm back and I've just finished up my underarm portion. I now have a total of 16 rows and this is roughly four inches or 10 centimeters unstretched. And now from here, we're just gonna do rows of back loop half double crochets and back loop slip stitch rows with no increases and no decreases until this can stretch across our back so that we can get started on the underarm portion for the other side. So all we're gonna do since we ended along the bottom, do a chain two, back loop half double crochet all the way down. Once we reach the end, do a chain one, back loop slip stitch all the way down. Keep doing that and I'll meet you guys back right after a half double crochet row. I'm back with the entirety of my back panel and I now have a total of 43 rows and this is just about 10 inches or 25 centimeters unstretched. And now we're going to work on the other cup. So since we all should have ended after a half double crochet row, what we're gonna do from here is do a chain two so that we can start our increases for our slip stitch row. So just like how we started our increase slip stitch row on the other side, we're going to chain two and flip our work. Into that second chain from our hook, we're gonna insert into that back loop, yarn over, pull through everything on our hook, and put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of this row, do a chain two, flip our work, and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last one, and I'll meet you guys back so that we can do an increase of three. All right, so we've made our way all the way down with our back loop slip stitches and back up with our back loop half double crochets. 
leaving that last stitch, and now we're going to do an increase of three back loop half double crochets. So start with the yarn over, insert your hook into that last back loop, and we're going to do one, two, and three half double crochets. And once we have this, we're going to do another slip stitch row with an increase. So just to start that off, do a chain two and flip your work. Start by inserting your hook into that second chain from your hook's back loop with a slip stitch and then slip stitch all the way down. And keep repeating these two rows until we have the same amount of rows as our decrease portion right over here for our cup. And then I will meet you guys back once we have the same amount of rows so that we can work on this portion over here. All right, so I am back and I have the same amount of rows as I have for this underarm portion. And now we're going to finish up with the other half of our cup. So since we all should have ended on a half double crochet row, we're going to do our slip stitches all the way down, starting with a decrease of two back loop slip stitches. So do a chain one, flip your work, and then into that first back loop, insert your hook, pull through, into that next loop, yarn over, pull through everything on your hook and then put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. At the end of the row, do a chain two, flip your work and put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving the last three just so I can decrease with you guys one more time. And right before I let you guys go, since we have started this slip stitch row, I'm going to insert my stitch marker into this point just so I know where this row starts. I'll meet you guys back when we have just three stitches left. We have made our way all the way back down, putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, leaving one, two, and three stitches, and now we're just going to do our decrease. So yarn over, insert your hook into that third to last back loop, pull through, into that last back loop, pull through, and then also into that last back loop, yarn over, pull through. Now we should have one, two, three, four, and five loops on our hook. So yarn over, Pull through all five of those loops. And then just to get this next row started, since we are here, do a chain one, flip your work, and we're gonna start with a decrease of two back loop slip stitches. So into that first stitch, insert your hook, pull through. Next stitch, insert your hook into that next back loop, yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. And then make your way down, putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And we're gonna keep repeating these two rows until we have the same amount of rows as this cup portion over here, do a chain up of one, and then I will meet you guys back. I am back and I have just finished up my second cup. I did do a chain up of one and cut, and just as a reference, the total width that I have is just about 13 and a half inches or 34 centimeters unstretched. And now we're going to start working along our trim. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is flip our work upside down so that the ribbing that we have is face down making sure that the points for our cup are faced away from us. And we're all gonna start by inserting our hook into the bottom right corner. So I'm gonna flip my work and insert my hook into this bottom corner stitch, insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through and do a chain up of one to secure. And from here, I'm going to be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch all the way up until we reach this point that we have right here. So just to do the first one, insert your hook into that first stitches back loop, yarn over, pull through everything into that next stitches back loop, yarn over and pull through everything. Continue to do this until we reach this corner and then I'll meet you guys back. And now that we've put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, now that we're at this corner, we have all of our side rows to work into. So we're going to start by putting two single crochets into every side half double crochet and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. And right before we get started, we're going to be inserting our stitch marker into the last stitch that we made right before we start working into the side rows. So what we're going to do from here is put two single crochets into this first side row, which should be a half double crochet. I'm going to find that top loop with one and then into that same side row with two. Here's our next one, which is a side slip stitch row. We're gonna insert our hook into there with one. And then that's it. Let's do one more set. 
So the next side row that I have right here is a side half double crochet. I'm going to insert my hook into that side half double crochet with one and then into that same loop with two. And then my next one is a side slip stitch row. I'm going to find that top loop and single crochet. And we're going to keep doing this, making our way all the way up until we reach the point or where we inserted our stitch marker. And now that we've made our way all the way up to this point, we're going to insert into that side slip stitch row with an increase of three single crochets. So we're going to take out our stitch marker for now. And then into this top loop, we're going to insert with three single crochets. So there is one, there is two, and then there is three. Now that we have our three single crochets, we're going to insert our stitch marker into that second stitch that we have, just so we know where the point is. And then from here, we're going to continue with two single crochets into every side half double, one single crochet into every side slip stitch row, making our way all the way down to this point. Do another increase of three, and then continue on with our sequence of two single crochets into every half double, and one single crochet into every side slip stitch row. I'll meet you guys back once we reach this corner, just to remind you guys that we're going to be working in with our back loop slip stitches, working our way all the way down. All right, so we have single crocheted all along the back. Up this cup, we did our increase of three and insert our stitch marker, and all the way down over here. What we're going to do now is just make our way all the way down with one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. But this first back loop slip stitch that we're going to do, we're going to be inserting our stitch marker. So into that first stitch, we're going to yarn over, pull through. And we're going to insert our stitch marker into that first stitch. And from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, and I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. All right, so we've made our way all the way down to this bottom corner, and we just finished up our back loop slip stitch portion. And now we're going to make our way all the way up with back loop half double crochets, and then into the single crochet section, regular half double crochets. So start by doing a chain two. We're going to start by doing a yarn over into that first back loop with one half double crochet and keep putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our first stitch marker. All right, so my half double crochet, we've made our way all the way up with them. Right until we reach our stitch marker, we're gonna be putting one half double crochet into there, making sure that's into the back loops. And then we're gonna take out the stitch marker and then insert it into that stitch. Now from here, we just have our single crochets that make our way all the way up and around. So from here, we're going to be putting regular half double crochets, so no longer into the back loops, into every stitch. But I will meet you guys back once we reach the point of our cup right here so that we can do an increase of three half double crochets. All right, so I've made my way all the way up to my stitch marker stitch. I'm going to take this out for now and then into that middle point. We're going to do an increase of three half double crochets. So there's one, there's two, and then there's three half double crochets. Into that increase, we're going to insert our stitch marker into that second stitch. All we're going to do is put one half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up to the point on this side. Do another increase of three, insert your stitch marker into that second stitch, one half double crochet into every stitch until we reach this corner, and then one back loop half double crochet, making our way all the way down. I'm making sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into that first back loop half double crochet stitch. All right, we have just finished up our half double crochet row and now we're going to start working on the strap. So since we should have all ended along the bottom, we're going to be putting one back loop slip stitch into every stitch, making our way all the way up to the point of our cup where we have inserted our stitch marker. So from where we're at, we're going to chain one, flip your work, and let's put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. So insert your hook into that first back loop, yarn over, pull through everything, and also into that next back loop, yarn over, pull through everything. Continue this until we reach our first stitch marker right before the point. And now that we've made our way up to our first stitch marker, we're going to insert our hook into that same stitch that our stitch marker's in. And then we're going to insert our stitch marker into this stitch. And from here, continue to put one back loop slip stitch until we reach this top corner. All right, so we put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch until we reach this top corner. And now we are going to make a chain from this point that wraps around the back of our neck. 
to this point. And I have already figured out my chain, so I'm going to start by making a chain of 48, and that's just about 12 and a half inches or 32 centimeters. All right, so I've just made my chain, and we are now ready to slip stitch it into this top corner stitch, and then do back loop slip stitches all the way down. So let's go ahead and flip our work. And really quickly, just as a quick tip, so that our next half double crochet row is a little bit easier, we just want to make sure that our chain isn't twisted, or at least not as twisted as it can be. And what we're going to do from here is slip stitch it into this top corner stitch. So insert your hook into here, yarn over, pull through everything, and from here, put one back loop slip stitch into every stitch. And make sure that we're inserting our stitch marker into the same stitch into this corner. And then I'll meet you guys back. All right, so we've just made our way all the way down with our chain and our back loop slip stitches. From here, we're going to be putting one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making our way all the way up, making sure we are inserting this stitch marker. And we're going to continue that until we reach our chain. So from here, just do a chain two, flip your work. And then put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch until we reach our chain. All right, so we have just made our way all the way up with our half double crochets. And now into our chain, we're just going to be putting one half double crochet into every stitch. Once we reach this cup, we're going to continue to put one back loop half double crochet into every stitch, making sure that we insert our stitch marker into that stitch. And I'll meet you guys back at the end of this row. Alright, so I've made my way all the way down with my half double crochet row, and now we're going to do our detail, which is front and back post double crochets. So since we're along the edge, we're all going to start with a chain two and flip our work. Now our first stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. So what we're going to do is yarn over just once, and then into that first half double crochet that we have, and we aren't going to be counting this edge one. So into that half double crochet, we're going to bring our hook underneath, and through the other side, the body of that half double crochet. And from here, we're going to yarn over, pull through, and we're going to double crochet per usual. So yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. This is our front post double crochet. Now let's do our back post double crochet into that next stitch. So we're going to yarn over once, and we're going to bring our hook underneath our work. Now we're going to bring our hook over that next half double crochet through the other side, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And now we have one front post and one back post double crochet. Let's do one more set, yarn over, and we're going to do our next front post double crochet. So into that next half double crochet, we're gonna insert a hook underneath that stitch, yarn over, pull through, pull through two, pull through two, and next is going to be our back post double crochet, so yarn over, bring our hook underneath our work, and over that next half double crochet, through the other side, pull through, pull through two, and pull through two. And from here we are going to continue to do our front and back post double crochets, making our way all the way around until we reach the other end, and then I will meet you guys back. So we've made our way all the way down with our front and back post double crochets, and we're going to close off this row with a half double crochet into the last stitch from our previous row. So yarn over, insert your hook into that stitch, pull through, pull through everything. And now that we have this, we are going to seam our piece together. So to seam this together, we're going to start by folding our work in half, making sure that the ribbing is faced in on itself because we want our seam to be along the inside. From here, we're going to insert our hook into the corner stitch of our front panel, yarn over, pull through everything, and now we're going to do our single crochet seam all the way up until we reach this stitch marker. So just to do the first view, we're going to insert our hook into that first stitch into the front panel, and also into the first stitch into the back panel, and then single crochet. Let's do this again into the next stitch into the front panel, next stitch into the back panel, and single crochet, and that is it. We're going to continue to do this, making our way all the way down until we reach our stitch marker, do a chain up of one and cut, and I'll meet y'all back. 
Right, so I am back and I have just finished up seaming our panels together and now we're going to finish this off by doing front and back post double crochets again, working our way down our underarm, around our back, and then up the other side. So the first thing we're going to have to do is insert our hook into the second stitch that we have into our strap that's right next to this half double crochet row. So this is my first stitch. This is my second stitch. I'm going to insert my hook into there. Insert my yarn onto my hook, pull through. And we're going to start with our front post double crochet. Since we already know how to do this, I'm just going to do this with you guys really quickly. Yarn over, insert your hook into that first half double crochet that we have from our previous row with a front post double crochet. Yarn over, bring your hook underneath your work, pull through with a back post double crochet. And that's it. We're going to continue to do front and back post double crochets, making way all the way around. Once we reach this last stitch over here, I'll meet you guys back just to show you guys where we're going to insert our hook to do a chain of a one and cut. All right, so we just made our way all the way up with our front and back post double crochets. And all we're going to do now is slip stitch it into that second stitch that we have into the strap. So let's count up one, two, insert your hook into that second stitch, yarn over. Pull through everything, and then from here, do a chain up of one, and then cut. All right, and we are all done. The last thing we're gonna have to do is weave in all of our ends. And there you have it, y'all. We are all done. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial, and don't forget to check us out on Instagram, Pinterest, or Twitter. All of those links are down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch y'all next one. Bye.